Oh yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, Gio. This is Michael. I'm the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT. And uh, let's take a look at your situation. So from the comments you made over at my website at Better TOEFL Scores, you said that uh, you have not taken the TOEFL yet. And here's your situation. So you finish high school from India, and congratulations. That's a milestone in and of itself. You said, now I'm leaving. You want to say they're living, not leaving. Now I am living in the United States, and English is my secondary language. I want to write the TOEFL. You want to say here, take. I want to take the TOEFL on March 28th because I'm applying for pharmacy school. I need a TOEFL score of 100. I want to study day, <coughs> daily 10 hours to improve my English. I want to take the 60-day course. Please guide me to reach my goal. I have little grip on English. All right. Um, wow. Now, be careful about this 10-hour-a-day thing. It, you can burn yourself out mentally, Joe. So I, I don't know that that's a good idea. Now, I'm not saying you, you shouldn't study TOEFL every day for a few hours, but 10 hours, I don't know, that's probably a little bit too much. Uh, I would recommend maybe, I'm going to say two to four hours at the most each day, and then do other things. You know, you can watch a movie, you can read magazines and newspapers and uh, longer books, uh, listen to music, find opportunities to talk to native speakers. You know, you can do all these other things during the day in addition to your two to four hours of TOEFL study every day. But to study TOEFL for 10 hours a day, the brain is going to be a little bit crazy. So be careful. That's just my advice. I've been teaching TOEFL now for about 20 years. And mentally, it's a lot of, it's, it's actually quite difficult learning new vocabulary, studying grammar, improving pronunciation, working on your reading and your listening proficiency, and then trying to work on, on those writing and reading, or those writing and speaking areas of the test as well. That's pretty difficult practice. Now, here's what I recommend. Uh, I would recommend my 90-day TOEFL study guide. Now, I know that you only have 60 days here, but based on your motivation and how much you're willing to practice each day, I think that you should be able to finish my 90-day TOEFL study guide in 60 days with the motivation that you now have and the willingness you have to practice. So uh, what you'll do is, instead of you know, doing one lesson a day, you'll do one or two. You'll do one or two days of study each day as you're in my course. So again, Joe, uh, I recommend my 90-day TOEFL study guide for you based on the fact that you're willing to practice a lot. And uh, you've not taken the TOEFL before either, so I think it's going to be good for you to work on a lot of vocabulary study. My 90-day uh, TOEFL study guide has vocabulary practice almost every day during those 90 days. All right, now just in case, if you do not want my 90-day TOEFL study guide, I'll also put in the YouTube video in the description box for this video, I will also put the 60-day TOEFL study, study guide in there for you also. Okay? Now, uh, be patient. TOEFL study takes time. It takes practice. So, uh, today's February 1st. Join my course. And uh, you can begin studying uh, my lessons today. And remember that any time that you complete, any time that you complete one of my uh, pronunciation, writing, or speaking practice tests, I'll make sure they're graded in about 24 hours from the time that you submit it. Now remember, the vocabulary, grammar reading and listening areas of my course, all of those will be graded instantly as soon as you're done with those exercises. So you can get feedback in those areas very quickly. All right, Joe, anyway, thank you for contacting me. All the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.